Hello, Kenny Jacobs here from Bloomington, Illinois. I'm a PGA golf professional, and my channel talks both about how to improve your golf game, as well as being a Christian and living in the last days. I want to talk today about the increase in technology and knowledge as far as golf and golf equipment goes. Um, you know, I look at my golf clubs I played with in high school, 25 years ago or so, and uh, it's unbelievable how much different equipment has changed. Back then I had wood-headed woods. Obviously woods aren't made out of wood anymore and haven't been for a long time. Uh, the size of the club head was tiny. Uh, compared to today's clubs, they were much heavier. Uh, because they were heavier, they were shorter. Uh, the loft on the irons was higher, so they didn't go as far. Um, Obviously, they weren't nearly as easy to hit. They were much less forgiving. You had to hit the ball much more on the sweet spot uh, to get the ball to really carry. Um, the older golf ball had to spin more to get up in the air and carry. Uh, today's modern golf ball is unbelievable. It, you know, multiple covers and, and, co and different cores and, and layers, and, and the, the balls are so well designed that they almost don't want to curve. Um, so, so it's almost harder to work the golf ball. If you try to hit a little fade or a little draw, sometimes the ball wants to fly a little too straight. Um, they don't. The new ball doesn't spin much coming off of a driver, but yet it spins a lot coming off of a wedge. So you get the best of both worlds. You get great distance off the tee with the long clubs, but still able to stop the ball and control it around the green. Uh, the driver is maxed out now with... Um, we call it the spring-like effect. It's basically how hot the face is. And you get tremendous ball speed coming off of the club face now, even when you catch it a little toward the toe or a little bit toward the heel. Uh, with today's technology, uh, you can really dial in your ball flight because the clubs are so adjustable now. You can Some clubs you can even make the same driver anywhere from 8.5 degrees aloft all the way up to 12 degrees aloft on the same club just by making a little bit of adjustment. Uh, you can add a little fade or a little draw. Or, it's unbelievable. You can you can take a hybrid and, and change the loft on it to fill in your gaps with a certain club. And you know the, the new hybrids are so much easier to hit. The, getting the ball up in the air and getting the ball to carry off of the ground a long way with a hybrid is so much easier than it was with a long iron. Uh, and if you use the technology like launch monitors, like the TrackMan or any other launch monitor where you can really dial in your, your spin rate and your launch angle and get the right shaft and the right loft and then play around with the setting on the club so that you eliminate some of the extra spin that makes you slice or hook, you can really, really help your game. So I would encourage you to look into some of that. Even if you have a, a driver that's two, three, four years old and some of the newer technology, it's worth trying some of the new stuff and hitting them on a launch monitor and seeing if you can find a different shaft or a different head or a little different configuration that will change your launch conditions. Maybe raise your launch angle a little bit if you need it or reduce the spin a little bit if you need it. And that way you can actually pick up some extra carry. Now... <clears throat> Technology obviously has changed a lot in golf, but look around. I mean, technology now is, is unbelievable. And how much has changed in the last 100 years or even now in the last 20 years. Um, I mean, if you look at the mode of transportation from, from 1900 or so, where people are basically riding horses and horses and carriage, and if you wanted to go on a long trip, you went on a train or on a boat, and now we can hop on a plane this morning in California and be in New York in a few hours or all the way in Europe and fly all around the world. Uh, we obviously travel into space. Everybody has a car now and you know we, we can travel around. We're much more mobile now than we ever used to be. Uh, computer technology obviously is absolutely ridiculous how much that's changing. I mean, I'm sitting here right now filming a video on a, on a smartphone. 20 years ago, you had to have a VHS camera with a huge camera and carry it around. Everything's digital now and, and computerized. And, and, and the computer technology and the, and the technology and the Internet and, and these cell phones is changing so fast that, I mean, every six months it seems like there's something to totally better than what you got right now, which is just absolutely amazing. And 
the medical field, things they can do now with transplants and where they can save people that they used to never be able to do. I mean, the, the knowledge we have is just unbelievable. And what's interesting is that's just another sign that we're living in the last days. One of my favorite books in the Bible is Daniel. And in Daniel chapter 12, verse 4, Daniel is told, Shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. And then again in, in chapter 12, verse 9, he's told again, Go your way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed until the time of the end. We are definitely living in those times now. Obviously, we run to and fro like we never have before. We, we, we Our lifestyle is so fast-paced now, we, we don't know how to slow down. And, you know, again, we can travel around so easily now. The world has become a much smaller place. <clears throat> so... No, no question about it. And then the, the knowledge has increased, and, and, the, and the understanding of prophecy has increased so much. He said, seal the prophecy up until the time of the end. Well, now a lot of the things that are prophesied both in the Old and New Testament, we can see so much more clearly and start to understand how all these prophecies tie together by what's going on in the world. We don't know all the details, and some details we won't know until they happen. Uh, but we can certainly see in the signs of the times, that we are nearing the end of this age. So I just want to encourage you two things. One, if you play golf and you want, want to maximize your game, take advantage of the, of the new technology. Get yourself fit. Dial in your ball, your, your, uh, ball flight. It'll really help you. And be aware of the times and the seasons and, and what's going on. We are clearly living in the last days. Give your life to Jesus if you haven't already. There's not much time. Thank you.